guys, it's Alex with Apple Tip. Today I'm going to talk about why we're waiting for the iPhone XR. Alright guys, so featuring the A12 Bionic chip, this is one reason why I want the iPhone XR. Because it features the same chip, it has a new liquid retina display, and it is larger than just the regular XS Max. And it has advanced face ID, it comes in six beautiful finishes, and it has glass design. So everyone's going to love this, and you can pre-order it on October 19th, and you get it in stores beginning October 26th. Now just to continue continue on you get a white you get a black you get a blue a yellow a coral and a product red color this has the same pixels per inch as the original iPhone, 326 so PPI. Guys, why do I want the iPhone XR? It's actually a more affordable option. For 740 for 749 you get the same specs as the iPhone XS Max, and, but even much more better. Now, guys, I'm not going to lie to you about this one. You can do portrait mode, you can do depth of field, you can do bokeh, you can do all of that with just one single 12 megapixel camera. Now, how does Apple do it? It has an aluminum glass design, has four antennas, it is a much wonderful phone. Now, you can even get it, it is splash, water resistant up to IP67, just like the iPhone X, but it is a better display than the iPhone X. The iPhone XR will come in iOS 12.1 with the new right, fixed mode. I love this iPhone display. 6.1 liquid retina. It is better than the iPhone 4, but it has the same 326 PPI as the iPhone 4S. So, everybody's saying you can't do 1080p, but from the newest Apple video, they say you can do 1080p HD recording on the phone. Alright guys, so it has a better performance up to 50% more efficient than the iPhone 8 Plus, and it even has a better ISP. Now to experience gaming in this, you have a better, longer lasting battery in terms of gaming. How about half an hour longer than the iPhone 8 Plus? Now, is it better than the iPod? The iPod has only 30 minutes longer than the iPhone SE, so yeah, it's better than the iPod Touch. Now, you can experience AR. It has the new AR Kit 2 in it. It also has even more intensive apps on to it just like this dragon app it is a very good app you have very very good retina display it is a good retina display it shows goodness and you have an even better wireless technologies into the iPhone XR. It uses new LTE advances for fast downloading speed to the fourth power. Yeah I like it to the fourth power. If it wasn't for the Apple A12 we wouldn't have speeds to the fourth power. Anyways, guys, just to be honest, it comes with iOS 12.0.1, which was just released today. So that means it's going to have the 70 plus new emojis, group FaceTime up to 32 people, and even better, better, better features. All right, guys, here's a look at the 12 megapixel camera, and Apple's going to explain more in this little clip. I the have most advanced it. LCD in a smartphone and the most color accurate in the industry. A new backlight design allows the display to extend into the radius corners, enabling a larger LCD than ever before. The advanced single camera system, combined with machine learning, allows iPhone XR to recognize people, map subjects, and add depth. The depth of field is adjustable, so you can take more dramatic portraits. So you get the new and emoji on the true depth camera. So true depth camera, you get FaceTime mm -hmm. and emoji, and you also get some other new features with that true depth camera, including face ID. And also the true depth camera has an infrared camera, guys. So that is what it is. iOS 12 works good with iPhone XR. But those are some reasons why me and the Apple Tab team are waiting for the iPhone XR, and I hope you are too. And for Apple Tab, I'm Alex Mitchell.